everybody, my name is Super Yarmar and welcome to episode number 47 of my Inter Milan career mode in FIFA 16. In the last episode, we made a very, very nice signing in Felipe Coutinho. He used to play for Inter Milan, if you didn't know. Now, hopefully he will perform, he should perform based on his stats. Now, let's go and play this game against Bologna and try him out. So guys, I'm playing basically with my first team, Perisic, Jovetic and Berardi and my front trio. Coutinho this time in the number 10. Kondogbia and Pogbia, ugh, Kondogbia and Pogba, not Pogbia, Jesus, <laughs> are completing my midfield. Florenzi, Murillo, Koulibaly and Castagna. So the back with Handanovic and Golden have Santon, Jesus, Brozovic, No Curry, Dodo, Biabiani and Marcus Rashford on the bench. Let's go for our possibly 20th win in Serie A. That's a good pass to Perisic. On the inside, Perisic, 1-0. Ivan Perisic scores the first goal for us. Great job. Here we go, half time. 1 0, we are leading. Good performance and well deserved lead. Oh, good job, Castanos. Can we get a good cross to Jovetic? Stefan Jovetic, 2 0. What a cross from Tink Castanos. He is such an amazing player. And we're leading 2 0. Okay, here we go guys, 2-0 is the score at the end, uh, pretty easy win at the end, I guess. Now guys, if I'm not mistaken, Pogba likes the number 6, and I give him the number 6 now because it's free, because it used to be at Doncor, now Pogba has it, and about the number 8, it goes to Coutinho, because you know, 29 is not really a famous number, I guess. Um, 8 is better suited for him, so that's it. We got a transfer offer for Nagatomo, I will accept this, he will go to Udinese. Doing squad training again, Rosina is now 65 rated goalkeeper, he is proving to be an amazing talent. Time for quarter final, time for quarter finals of the Team Cup, we're playing against Napoli at home, let's go. Ok guys, I switched up the team just a little bit, we have Rashford up front, left is Perisic, right Berardi, in number 10 it's Coutinho, behind him Condogbia and Pogba, we have Florenzi, Murillo, Jesus, Castanos and Rosina in the goal. Rosina or Rosina, is he Italian or Slovenian? If he's Slovenian, he's Ros Ros Rosina. If he's Italian, he's Rosina. Anyways, we have Santon, Koulibaly, Brozovic, Nukuridodo, Biabian and Jovetic on the bench. Let's go. Oh, Pogba. Pogba, Pogba tries shot. Oh my god, what a freaking goal from Paul Pogba. Already in the fourth minute, what a start to the game, and it looks like we could be on the winning ways. Hopefully, I haven't just jinxed it. <laughs> Felipe Coutinho still. Coutinho on the inside, in inside now. Uh, Coutinho, no, come on. And here we go, Paul Pogba again. He is enjoying his new number. As it looks, Paul Pogba with his second goal of the game. Felipe Coutinho. Coutinho. Still Coutinho on the outside. That should be a penalty. And it is. And let's give it to Coutinho because he, I think, deserves it. He played a good match until now. Now let's see if he can also score a... Yes, he can. He scores a penalty. 3-0. Felipe Coutinho, his first goal for the club in his second spell I guess because he already played for this club not sure if he scored any goals probably did but didn't really do that much research and a good performance 3-0 already 3-0 is the score after first half pretty easy I guess um, if we continue like this we can score a few more goals Oof, what a save but he can do the third one 3-1 uh, is the score, but no worries, I think. Here we go, 3-1 is the score at the end. A very good performance. Uh, sadly, no clean sheet, but still alright. Okay, guys, it looks like there are going to be no more exits from our club. Nope. No one is looking for anyone. Oh, Fairman for 60, what, 66 million to Liverpool. What? How can I... What can I see... If how good Fairman is. 88. Fairman goes to 88? Really? I didn't know that. Or is just maybe glitched a bit? Or I don't know. 
I know he is like 80 plus, but didn't know he's like 88 rated. Jesus. And here we go, that transfer window is now shut down. Frozen on our pre last in Serie A. I think I should simulate this one and get a win. Let's see. We got a 2 0 win. You have to and Pogba on the score sheet. Doing some squad training again. Handanovic and Rosina going up in stats. We're also 16th. Let's just simulate this game. Probably gonna win it easily. 2 0 again. Can dog behind continue. Biragi wants a new contract. We will give it to him. I'm only going to play two games in this episode because I want to first make a squad report. So let's take a look. Samir Kandanovic is going down by one. Still only in mental stats. He made 32 appearances, made 19 clean sheets, 7.4 overall rating, very nice. Alessandro Forenzi, uh, 27 appearances, uh, 3 goals to assist, 16 clean sheets, 2 yellow cards and a match rating of 7. Murillo, 29 appearances, 16 clean sheets, 6.8 rating. Koulibaly, only 6.6 .6 rated, he has been a freaking beast for me. 30 appearances. Is 30 appearances, uh, one goal. Think Castanios, 6 point rating, rating, 27 appearances, one, two goals, three assists. Paul Pogba, 29 appearances, <clears throat> 11 g uh, goals, seven assists, 7.3 rating. He has been excellent. Kondogbia, 33 games, six goals, five assists, uh, and 7.1 match rating. Felipe Coutinho has now made 10 appearances for me, although, no, more like 4 I think, because 6 has been... What? Joining Napoli when his contract expires? What? What the fu- What the hell? How- How- How's that possible? Okay, what the fuck? Contracts. Uh, where is Coutinho? Departing the club. How the fuck is he departing the club if he still still has two years and five months on his contract? What? Okay, that is bizarre. Anyways, he played four goals for me, uh, four games for me, scored two, two goals. I must not count the Champions League because he played there with PSG. Uh, 7.2 rating. Dominico Berardi, 29 games, 11 goals, 10 assists, 7.5. Jovetic, this guy is amazing. 33 appearances, uh, 23 goals, 6 assists, 7.5 rating. Perisic, also very nice game, uh, player. 33 games, 15 goals, 13 assists. Man, the master of assists. 7.7 .7 rating. Is he like the highest uh, performance player? I know. Murillo, uh, sorry, Jesus made 40 appearances. Appearances. I can't speak shit. Dodo, uh, 60 appearances, 1 assist. Rashford, 20 games, 2 goals. Nakuri, 23 games, 1 goal, 1 assist. Brozovic, 28 games, 4 goals, 5 assists. Will probably play a bit less now when Continuo is joined. Santon, 13 uh, uh, games, 1 assist. Biabi, 1 assist. Uh, Biabiani, 10 appearances, 1 as goal. Jerico hasn't played, same goes for Sporar. Handanovic, 3 games, 1 assist. He is now. He could be, I mean, he's 70 rated and. It's. it's 70 rated at 17 years of age. He looks actually pretty decent. They have Bacinovic. Not looking that good. I, I thought he was going to be a better uh, goalkeeper. Britante plus 5, but 17 is enough. 60, I mean, 59 rated. He's going to be 60 probably soon. Not sure about him. Three um, games. Rosina, this guy looks now very, very, very good. 65 rated at 16 years of age and probably will grow for like three more in this um, season, hopefully. And then we have Shirok, who has, who is an exciting prospect. I mean, showing great potential. He is very a very good player. Uh, 
76 or 19 years of age, pretty nice. Bratanovic, he looks decent. Dedic, not really sure about him, probably n gonna sell him actually. Uh, I'm actually going to add him to the transfer list because I don't really want to use him. He's not too good actually. Strewn up for a singles for him, just gonna transfer list him. Yao guy, not going to play him a lot. DeMarco also going to be just a squad player when I need him. Singles for Palazzi. Belloni, I would like to sell him. Luxalt also would like to sell him. Biragi, he's a decent player. Tider also going to be a squad player. Ranocchia is transfer listed. He's going down in stats. He is 30 years old. He's not playing a lot. And that is it, my boys. And girls and every girls and everyone else. Um, now I'm really confused about that Coutinho stuff. Part in the club. I just freaking signed him. Ah, <sighs> okay, weird. Now, uh, oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to show you. Player stats. Jovetic is top scorer of Serie A. Second is Perisic, and third, I mean, Perisic is sixth, but second for our team. Uh, then we have Pogba at eleventh, and Berardi at fourteenth. Anyone else? No, that's it. At assists, whoa, three players, Berardi with nine, Perisic with eight, and Pogba with seven. Man, Kondogbia also with four at the uh, 13th. Uh, 19th is Brozovic with four, and 25th is Jovetic with three. Man, nice stuff. Clean sheets, Handanovic with 13, number one. Then Tink up. Uh, let's take a look. Top score is Mbalo from Palermo. Let's see where our players are there. Um, anyone? No? Assists. Also. Oh, we have Perisic and Jovetic at 14th and 15th, both with 1. We have clean sheets. Uh, doesn't really good. look good there, does it? Nope. Uh, also the Champions League, where's the Champions League? Come on, Champions League, Papa Europe, Champions League, here we go. Uh, top scorer is Fekir from Lyon. Our top scorer is Jovetic at number 7 with 4 goals. Uh, do we have anyone else there? Coutinho with 3 goals, but most of them probably, I mean all of them probably came from PSG. At assists, it's Messi with four. Let's see our players. How do they look here? No one here. Clean sheets, it's Ryan with six and Handanovic with three. Valencia haven't conceded a goal in their pre uh, group stages, I guess. Um, that's about it. Everything I wanted to show in this episode. Only two games. I simulated two, I think, or one. Let's take a look. So I did two, yes. Um, now, I think this is a pretty good episode. We finished off the transfer window, didn't sell any players. We have a very strong team because we brought in Continuo, who is looking pretty good actually. Scored one goal already for me and one assist, I think. Um, the defense, I don't know. I mean, the defense is very solid. It doesn't look that good in ratings, but it is really, really solid. Um, don't actually know where I should strengthen next. Handanovic is 34 now. He will try. To, he will um, go and decrease probably. Now we do have youngsters in Bacinovic and Rosina, who, <coughs> of course, could, you know, come and be good players. Dedic and Stuna probably not. I'm having high hopes for Rosina, who's from Italy. And um, that's about it. Now, actually, I'm going to episode and the episode now over here. I've been rumbling out for quite a long time. Hopefully you did uh, enjoy this episode. Uh, as I said, the last gameplay, more other stuff. Until uh, next time, as always, peace.